Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. And here joining me at Telecom Exchange LA in Beverly Hills, my good friend, Mr. Mayande Walker. He's the CEO, of course, of Open Crypto Trust, or OpenCT. Mayande, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you so much for having me. I've been having so much fun. Oh, this has been really great. It's been such a great conference, you uh, being a, a key speaker. We so appreciate you uh, flying in for this. And um, we, we had a really thought-provoking uh, roundtable on blockchain. Yes. So tell our viewers, if they're new to blockchain technology, what are the core top three fundamentals, if you will, of blockchain? Sure. So um, I'm going to keep it really simple. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, it's about um, uh, storage of digital records uh, or of transactions on a ledger, distributed ledger. It's also about exchange of digital assets. Um, and it's also about execution of contracts, smart contracts. I love that. Storage, exchange, and execution. execution. Exactly. Got it. Very simple. What are the key principles of blockchain that would benefit the telecom industry, though? So typically within the telecom industry, there's a lot of thought about things like identity management, uh, back-end billing process efficiencies. Um, but we're kind of lucky because our development team actually has modified the blockchain protocol itself in order to provide greater efficiency and security even within the transport of data. And then for Open Crypto Trust, OpenCT, your company, what are you doing to help the telco industry? So um, we have developed these two killer applications that actually focus on uh, very specific industry problems, very specific telco industry problems. Uh, one of those killer applications is called BAT, Blockchain as a Transport. And with this application, we are able to securitize internet pipes uh, and to uh, find a more, very efficient way to transport data leveraging the public internet in a very secure way. Right. So Blockchain as a Transport, BAT, I love that. Um, we also developed another application called BDWAN, mm -hmm. and this is really uh, very exciting because it's the holy grail, in fact, of what we are looking to achieve, which is really um, a way in which we can change the way that bandwidth is sold. So uh, ultimately, uh, through two mechanisms, uh, we have these very cool uh, optical switches that take predictive measures of applications and can build up channels and tear them down as needed. Um, and then at the same time, uh, we have these smart contracts that allow us to essentially charge customers for the bandwidth that they use. So it's like bandwidth on demand, which is very different from what happens today. Wow, so blockchain defined wide area networks, yes. making sure you're able to be flexible enough to build them up, tear them down within yes. milliseconds? Yes, real time, near real time provisioning uh, in a matter of hours as opposed to months. So it's really very exciting stuff. And I also understand, maybe this is a JSA TV exclusive, just hold up, hold up. I understand you have some exciting developments underway. Can you give us a sneak peek of what news you have coming down the pipe? Absolutely. So uh, we've just recently signed a, a deal with a major subsea carrier. Um, and, well, it's NJFX. Uh, and we're very excited to be partnered with NJFX, particularly because uh, they will be a, a very important hub for us in terms of our... Uh, efforts towards connecting to major carriers all over the world. Um, so that's a very exciting thing for us and uh, it's going to really kind of uh, uh, allow us to interconnect with other uh, global carriers um, and so we're very excited about it. Yeah, NJFX, New Jersey Fiber Exchange, sitting down there in Wall Township, New Jersey, critical critical spot because there's so many subsea cables like Tata coming right in from the Atlantic. Uh, and he, uh, Gil and friends at NJFX are sitting on quite quite a, an operation there, their data center, their cable landing station, phenomenal. Yeah. Um, so having this blockchain technology available to the NJFX uh, consumers. Yes, yes, so that's another very exciting aspect aside from being able to support our own backbone, uh, the ability to interface with NJFX customers and provide these uh, blockchain telco applications is a very exciting aspect. Yeah. Well, here you got it. That's a JSA TV exclusive, guys. I'm sure there'll be a press release coming up quickly if I know, uh, if I know the team behind it, which I think I do. <laughs> and we look forward to, uh, to learning more. Absolutely. Mayande, it is such a pleasure always to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, really.
course. And, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.